Hi everybody, this is Ian Lamont. I am the founder of the Lean Media book, blog, and YouTube channel uh, that talks about Shopify and Amazon advertising and all kinds of other selling programs. It's available from leanmedia.org. Uh, today I'm going to be talking about how to set up a digital download on your Shopify store. And I'm also a publisher. I publish different types of materials. Uh, basically, it's called utility nonfiction. It includes things like, uh, let's see here, like cheat, uh, cheat sheets, uh, books, okay? I've been publishing these things for years, and usually when I sell them on my Shopify store, I sell a printed version, and I also have a PDF version. And in fact, I just created a new uh, PDF variant on my Shopify store. That's in a separate video that I created. It's for the Word 2016 cheat sheet. And you can see that if you come to the product page, uh, it's a Shopify store, and, and select the format, you can choose between the printed one and then the PDF one. Uh, but there's a little bit of a problem. Uh, I have to, I have to, first of all, it says it's a PDF. You can see the little icon right there. But um, it also says it's sold out. And I haven't, I, I have, actually, I don't, I don't even have a digital file that people can use to, to purchase it. So I have to, I have to make sure that all the assets are available and ready to go on Shopify. And this is how you do it. So earlier, I showed how to create the variant for this in a separate video. So let's assume that you've already created your digital download page. And actually, to be honest with you, it doesn't have to be a variant of a printed product. It can be, it can be a standalone digital product. So just, you know, let's say that this was Word 2016 cheat sheet. It was a PDF and that, that's all there was, okay? So I would go to the product page. Uh, I would either find the variant or find the product itself, open it up, and you have to do a couple things first for your listing just to make sure Shopify knows it's a digital product. Uh, the first thing you need to do is you have to deselect this under shipping. It says this is a physical product, deselect that because it's not, it's a digital product. The other thing is, is that tracking quantity. There may be some situation where you wanna track the quantity of a digital product. I'm not really sure what that is. Uh, maybe you wanna make it exclusive so it runs out after a certain period of time. I could see that for maybe music or certain type of digital photo, like there's only you know 20 downloads and then it's all gone. Um, I don't need to do that for this. You, you know, my customers are typically people working in offices or schools, and you know, they may need, they may, they or their colleagues may need to buy it, come back and buy it a couple months later. Uh, the other thing that's important for my particular state, uh, my state does not charge tax on on uh, digital products. It does charge tax on physical goods. So for the physical version of this, I do have this checked off, and I've set up the tax. But for the digital version, I don't need to do this. And I've already, you know, this is already well known to me and to my accountant. So we're good with that. So click save. And then here's the other, now here's, here's where it gets really interesting. So uh, you have a, you, you have a, uh, your product here. And what we want to do is go back to the main product page. At the very top, it'll say more actions. Select add digital attachment. By the way, you, in order to do digital downloads on Shopify, as of right now, this is 2020, early 2021, you need to have a special app installed on your Shopify store. And actually, let's go to my other Shopify store and we can take a look and see what that is. Uh, I, have a, I have several different brands and I sell several different types of things and I have the same app on each one. So the app is, Digital downloads. If you don't have this app, you won't be able to have digital downloads on your Shopify store, or you're gonna to need to have another type of app because Shopify requires an app in order to sell digital downloads. So I use the stock digital downloads app. I think there's some like some private apps you can download that, have, that you can use that have extra special features. But for what I'm doing, I don't need that. I'm basically just trying to let people be able to buy a PDF, okay? That's what it's all about. So I've installed it on my other store. And when I go to, when, if you remember, actually, let's just go back, redo it. It's not gonna let me do it. Okay, so let's just pretend that I'm back in my, <laughs> I'm back uh, in my products and I want to add a digital, a digital product. So for this Word 2016 cheat sheet, I have a PDF ready. And now I go to the very top, more actions, select add digital attachment using that uh, Shopify app I just described earlier and you'll come to this particular page. So there's actually two variants for this product. There's a printed one 
and there's the PDF. So the printed one is not going to have any PDF associated with it. Although I suppose I could. I could like actually sell something where maybe I could create a third variant where I'm selling both the printed and the PDF at the same time for like a, a lower price than you would if you bought them individually. I could do something like that, but I'm not going to do it right now. But here for the PDF, I want to upload the file. So I already know what this file is. It's here. It's cheat sheets. I have to drill down a little bit. Excuse me for a second. And it is right here. Yes, Microsoft Word 2016 cheat sheet e-file. Actually, let's just take a quick look at it, just to make sure it looks okay. Because you don't want to, you don't want to attach the wrong file. I've done that before, and in customer, and a customer complains, saying, "Hey, I was expecting this, but I got this instead." So I had to fix that and then, uh, you know, resend it to them. So this is the right, this is the right product. It's the PDF version of the product. Uh, so I've selected it. Click open. Success, it's there. Now, one thing to say about PDFs in particular or other types of digital files, you can only upload one at a time. So if you have two, let's say you had two PDFs, and I've done this before, I have two PDFs, like a, the main PDF and then an instruction manual or something, you actually, you can't, do, you can't do both of them at the same time unless you create a zip file. So a zip file is the compressed file format so it'll, it, uh, you know, there's different ways to do it depending on what sort of system you have. Um, but I've done zip files. The problem with the zip files is, is that it requires an extra step for your users to open them up. And some users aren't so familiar with how to do that, or they don't have the right software to do it. And uh, Windows especially, Windows users will sometimes be prompted to buy some other application in order to uh, open up a zip file to read your PDF. So think these things through. Like for instance, let's say that I had an instruction manual with this as well. I might actually combine the instruction manual with the actual PDF into one PDF so I don't have to have uh, two separate PDFs in the zip file. So that's all set. If I change my mind, if I, if I wanted to update it, I would just click change and you'd go through the whole process again. And I've done that before too, like if I made an update to the, uh, to the file for some reason. But basically that's how you, that's, that's how you uh, attach a digital file to your Shopify uh, product page. For more information on how to get the most out of Shopify, Amazon Advertising, Amazon Seller Central, Amazon KDP, Amazon Advantage. I, I think I've I think I have a couple other things in there too, including WordPress and uh, you know different types of different types of ways to promote and sell things using the internet. Um, it's available from LeanMedia.org. Go to LeanMedia.org, click on video, and then you can uh, see all the videos I have. And also on my blog, I have uh, blog posts as well as some embedded videos for the videos that are the most important, like the top one here. You know, generate an online store session report. My name is Ian Lamont. Thank you so very much. Thank you so much for watching. And if you have a, a chance to do so, if you could like this video or subscribe to me, I'd be very grateful. Thank you so much and see you next time.